Hi everyone, um, it's my first video in English, so please uh, don't blame me if my English is so poor. Um, if you need additional explanation or future clarification, please don't hesitate to ask for them uh, in the comment um, area of under the video screen. So uh, this is the second uh, presentation of my uh, uh, system one VFD for N motors. Here we have three. Um, the difference with the former uh, vid, uh, video is only uh, the fact that I implemented two uh, functions of security. The first one is emergency stop. You can see two buttons here. You may have plenty of buttons, but I had only two. So one is on the remote control here, and the other one uh, is uh, independent. Uh, you can put it on the floor to help someone lying on the floor to stop the machine. You can put it near the door, so uh, if someone come in and find something is strange or, or abnormal, uh, just have to push on the button to stop all the motors uh, within the, the workshop. Okay, so let me introduce you how it works. Uh, it's exactly the same thing that, uh, than the other videos. So if you start, you just have to select the motor, the motor you want. It blinks slowly just because it's loadi loading the parameters. Here you can see a very small, uh, it's very small, um, it's very low speed, but you can increase it uh, really dr drastically. When the light is on, you can switch on the motor, switch it off, okay? No problem with that. If you want to change from one motor to another one without any plug or unplug thing, just push on the button, it blinks slowly, just in order to say you that it is loading parameters for uh, the remote control and for the motors, okay? The light is on, so you can start the motor. You can stop it, just pushing one button, and you can change fro from a motor to another one. Uh, all the parameters will be reloaded on free and uh, it will be, uh, you, you have no problem to stop the system at the end, you just switch on uh, the, pa the Raspberry and uh, if you want the VF. Okay, let's come back to the security layer. Um, we switch on the motor. There is a problem, I want to stop it in emergent. Just push on the button, this one or this one or any one. After two seconds, the Raspberry cut electricity in all motors. Why two seconds? Because uh, we the, the VFD in external fault, as it's written on the screen, will need two seconds to inject uh, DC um, in the motors to stop it as quickly as possible. Okay. So after two seconds, I take over with the Raspberry. I, sh I cut all uh, the power supply for any motors, and I switch on blinking, rapidly blinking all the LEDs. When all the LEDs are blinking, it means that we have a stop on the system for all the motors, not only one, but for all of them, okay? So at this uh, extent, uh, you won't be able to start any motor, obviously. You have to first release the emergency stop. Oh, sorry. Wait. The VFD is now ready, okay. You have to choose a motor because the system is released by the emergency stop. And when the light switch on, that's it, you can start again. The second part of uh, security is uh, 
prevent uh, those motors for any uh, spontaneous resume. I mean that if you are, uh, if the motor is switched on, when you decide to change from a motor to the motor switched on, you may have a spontaneous start from the motors. Obviously, we don't want that. If someone is pushing on the button by accident, or if anything felt on the button, you may have a spontaneous start of the motor. Okay? In this case, as you can see, it will not. I have to release the start button. If I push it again, the motor won't start. You have to stop it and then start it. It's exactly the same thing, but it's to be, it will be more demonstrative with this one. If someone forgets uh, the switch on the start position, and if you ask for power supply on the first motor, you can see that after it load parameters, we will hear the relay, okay, the, the light will blink a bit uh, rapidly until you go back to stop position, the light become fixed, then you can turn it on. Okay, so no way to spontaneous resume. So one of the most important difficulty in my understanding with this VFD. Uh, no more, no, not possible anymore uh, with, my, with the software I developed it. And you will be able to manage uh, all the emergency stop as, you sh as I show you. Okay, that's it. Thanks for uh, watching this video and I hope to see you soon on this uh, channel. Bye!